So we've pretty much come to the end of the year. It's 2016, right near New Year's, just before Christmas. I think it's appropriate to look at some of the past cocktails that we've done over the years in the show. I've got one from 2012, 2014, 2015. First one has Doug, the next one has Curtis and Ian, and the third one is Ian. One of the things you might notice over the years, our tastes of champagne have changed a little bit. So let's take a look back at four champagne cocktails. See if you detect how our tastes have changed over the years. All right, here we go. On to the first one. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer. I'm Doug Peterson. I was going to shovel it over there, too. Really? Yeah. Was you, that that was, you know what? That was good. That was You're the doll. Yeah, I know. I, kinda, <laughs> I felt a little too loud on that. I'll try to <laughs> You haven't that figured out bit. your... You haven't figured out your jazz level yet. No. Today we're making the French 75. This is probably a classic recipe that we're going to destroy because, well, we're doing it. Right. This recipe is an ounce and a half of gin. We're going to use... Actually, We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Good job. Fractions. Fractions. <laughs> Can you Sugar. Point seven five. Sugar. So, simple syrup would work too. Every time, system of the down. Anytime somebody says sugar, that's on. Really? Instantly, in my head. What we're going to do now is some ice. What we're going to do is we're going to infuse the gin with the lemon by shaking it. Like but it. we're not going to shake it. We're not? With this. No. That would be bad. Why wouldn't you do that, Derek? Because I like to reserve my face yeah. champagne free. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Flat soda, really? Soda's too bubbly. Yeah, what? I would agree. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. You know what I saw in the in the grocery in the grocery store, <laughs> store um, the the um, gas station. You said it. There and you go. I see you were fumbling for words on that one. Yeah, I did. Gas station. That's, That's a hard one. one. <laughs> Moxie. Oh, really? You can buy that right down at Market Bath. Or uh, where do we go? Hand Things that I haven't seen since I left New England. For me now, it tastes a lot better than I remember it because I remember that stuff tasting like battery acid. It's actually, it's not that bad. That's because you've had like energy drinks since then. <laughs> yeah, I have. Oh, I didn't tell you about that? You no. need Moxie? No! <laughs> Monster energy drink. Oh. Oh wow, that went away. You know? You need to top that off. I know. That's boring looking. Oh, come on, it's, it is. Yeah, can you garnish it with something? I would garnish it like with lemon. Like your finger? Yeah. Yeah, actually, that, that would look nice. I don't have lemon. Oh, that's too bad. It would look like iced tea. Oh. It would. Uh, oh. Lemonade? lemonade. Iced tea is kind of brown. Yeah. I knew what he meant, and that I, I kind of just went with it. That is actually what I meant. I meant lemonade. Yeah. It looks like lemonade. It does. What does it smell like? Quite honestly. Your finger? First sip. No, I'm covering it, because the bubbles get all over my glasses, then I get the light, uh -huh. so I'm trying to cover it. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> uh -huh. It Okay, smell it. I'll tell you what I think it smells like. To me. It's a tie between Sprite and yep. Coors. Coors Light. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? That's bizarre. <laughs> it's like Coors Light. It does. It smells like fucking Coors Light. <laughs> Why is that smell like Coors Light? I don't know. It smells like a beer. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. Does it taste like Coors Light? Uh-uh. <laughs> Uh uh. No. Uh uh. No. Ooh. No, it kind of does taste like Coors Light. <laughs> Wait till the finish comes. What is in Coors Light that, you know, it's a citrus, lemon, sour, bite, alcohol, comes out. <laughs> it's frost brewed. <laughs> it is. It's chilled for your pleasure. This is bizarre. Did you grab a sun and throw it in a tunnel? Make it come out a snow train? <laughs> <laughs> That's the commercial. Yeah. Yes. I still don't understand that commercial at all. Why does he throw his son down a down a tunnel, and which is not even a train tunnel? It's just a cave, and then all of a sudden it becomes a train tunnel, and a snow train comes flying through. There is some gin, but yet very subtle. The gin is quickly <laughs> layered over. WTF is a snow train. <laughs> It's a yeah. train covered in ice through yeah, a tunnel. Exactly. The, if you were to take a Coors Light with a, with a squeeze of lime, yeah. lemon, yeah. Yeah. lemon. No, lime. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Lemon. Really? That's lemon. Is it? Guarantee. 
three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. If you took some lemon juice, squeezed it into a Coors Light, I think you would be able to get most of those flavors. You'd miss a, miss a little bit of the dry flavor of the gin, um, but you've got, I mean, this is, this is, you know, I would have thought it would have been more dry because you've got a dry gin and a dry champagne, and I still, maybe it's the sugar, but I don't get as much dryness as I do from some of the other cocktails we've done. It's messed this up. Is, this is different. I don't, uh, would you drink this out, uh, without being on the show? No. No, me neither. Uh, but it's a neat idea. <laughs> but again, we already talked about this. Champagne, not our thing necessarily. Fine. I like I like the, the comment with her dude was like, dude, you're like the, when the video started to get 20 minutes, I mean, uh, <laughs> tighten, tighten the shit up. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I think that too, but it, it, never, it just doesn't really happen. Well. I know. I know this. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw. We got, what the, what the hell are you doing? We got, get your little arm off there. We got curd. <laughs> we got curd <laughs> arms right next to the baby arm. Yep. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> we got I Ian. The curd arm. The curd arm. And we're going to make a Kira Royale. We're going to make a mimosa. We're going to make two. One. Too. And why? Because the mimosa is so easy to make. It Can is. you make the mimosa? I want to make the cure royale. I was going to ask the same it's thing. Vintage. But that's okay. Okay. Here, you do the cure royale. So. royale. Here's the mimosa recipe two and a half ounces of champagne, two and a half ounces of orange juice. That's it. You put the OJ in a flute, gently pour champagne on top of it. If you have a spiral orange twist, which I left upstairs, I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, why don't you just knock me? We well, should do that. What? So the cure royale is. This is this recipe wasn't submitted by anybody. The mimosa I got off of I, IBA World, so it's an IBA specific. Is that it right there? Oh no, he's got that's the orange one. juice. <laughs> that's the whole thing, huh? I probably oh, you know what it is. This is this would fit fine in a standard champagne glass, but because I brought up the epic glasses, mm -hmm. it's a little small. Yeah. But you get the idea. Hmm, that smells. We like probably could use the same thing. Interesting is one way that Kurt says that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, well, that smells like dirty feet. Doesn't it? It's not Fernet, though. Why, does Fernet smell like dirty feet? Yeah, but I, I enjoy Fernet. go around. Okay, yeah, Dude, I don't know about this. Uh, oh, mimosa. Never had one of you to before. The left-hand side, as the drinky to the left hand side. No, Never really gotten the whole idea of champagne. And orange juice? Or or out, alcohol and champagne, like, I get that it gives you bubbles, but it just mm -hmm. kind of like... Girls like it. Yeah. My, my girlfriend and my boss's wife love champagne and uh, Chambord. Jennifer mm. hates champagne. She's a girl, turns out. So, I don't know. I think either my logic's flawed or she's just not a girl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well. Nope. Nope, I'm a girl. You decide. Wow, but that tastes awful. Like you don't like no. the taste of it? That tastes awful. I thought it tasted a lot oh better than it smelled. Mm -hmm. I like the current uh, creme de cassis I've never had black before. Yeah. yeah, black currant. I don't mind champagne and peach schnapps. Oh no, that's good. Champagne and peach schnapps, yeah. Yeah, that tastes. That sounds pretty good. This is um, so this one's dry. It's got it's got that it's black, dry, yeah. like um, black fruit finish. It's very dry. This one is obviously, obviously not going to be orange juice. Right? Yeah, sweet. It's, it's like orange yeah. juice hiding. This that's is like a screwdriver. Would you guys say that this is like the, your atypical number one go-to drink for I've like never brunches? Never had a mimosa until that right or bloody now. Someone in the chat room just said that a mimosa is their dad's go-to drink. <laughs> you know what they got to do? They got to do manmosas. That's How would you manly up a mimosa? A, Use beer. a man mosa is orange juice and a uh, Belgian white. You stick your white, dick in it? Like oh. the moon. Mm -hmm. So instead of champagne, oh, yeah, it's yeah, Belgian yeah. white. It's quite oh. tasty. Yeah, Belgian because we've learned that anything with beer is awesome. Yeah. Just champagne, Overall, dreams, and caviar wishes, or champagne it, wishes and caviar dreams. If I was to do a rating. Here, lifestyles the rich and famous. <laughs> this drink, easy drinking for those that like cocktails. This one, no, are more like, like cocktails. sweet, sweeter cocktails. This like is this. this is more like um, oh. high class, like a little bit more complex and dry. And you sweeter, completely opposites from. You each. sound fancy ordering it. Oh, can I get a Cure Royale, please? Yeah, if only you can if you have a grape coupon. Oh, mimosa, mimosa. Oh, Cure Royale. We're done. And then you go like EverydayDrinkers.com. Dot com. What you trying to drink? Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. That is Ian Andrews. This episode <laughs> produced by Justin Dennis. <laughs> oh! Justin he's, Dennis! He's way up here. It's I okay. know, and I feel like I need to do that. Okay. So this is two raspberries, one orange twist. Oh. Oh, look how skilled you are. Yeah, I did uh, that you with my fingernail. That off with your... I'm trying to trim, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to uh, muddle those with some simple syrup. You know what I'll do? Uh, an ounce of simple syrup. We'll, we'll uh, get and some... 
Get some spritz on this glass. Spritz the shit out of that glass, buddy. Look at this. Sex well, there's lots of spritz there. It's like a glass facial. Oh, I'm gonna do something with that spritz in a second. Don't do the whole orange. You need spritz. We need a chilled martini glass, buddy. In this? Shit, you gotta open that. How is shit falling to the ground? Because I you just moved, turned around for half a second! You moved the bottle and it hit the muddler. It was a chain reaction. Yeah. Total Rube Goldberg machine. Uh, because the champagne glass is actually just for the champagne. I wanted to taste it before we did this because uh, oh. we, we got that into review. We actually got two bottles. This one's not, I didn't put in there yet. We'll do this later on. I don't know what Kava means, so I've, I've got to do some research. That, by the way, is sparkling wine. I keep screwing that up. I call things champagne that aren't really from Champagne region of France. Well, and everybody's like, that's not champagne, sparkling wine. I'm like, my bad, my bad, my homies. Let me just go over the recipe real quick while you're tasting that. That was two, uh, two orange twists and some raspberries and an ounce of simple syrup. Muddled up. Add an ounce and a half a gin. We're using uh, Ransom Old Tom because Old Tom's kind of cool. Sh shake it with some ice. We're going to put that in here and add an ounce of uh, chilled champagne. <laughs> my bad. Okay, I got it. I, I'm good. <laughs> okay, so that's what you're going to do. But I'm going to zest this first. So, I don't know what, so he's going to cover this thing with oil is what I'm guessing he's going to do. See what he's going to do? He's going to warm up the sacks so that they light on fire. Boom! Caramelized zest all up in your business. Dude. It's not working as well as I wanted to. It, it worked better in your head? It lit. There you there go. go. Hey, no. That was three years ago. You can look this up. It's on the show someplace. He like light his fingers on fire trying to do this stuff. <laughs> and that was like fucking pro. Um, double strain. You can get double strainers, like this little guy right here, tea strainer here, at awesomedrinks.com. Along with your cocktail uh, shakers yep. and tins and strainers. So if you're, if you're looking for... The, the strainer that's in here is great for holding back ice in large chunks. It doesn't work so well for small particles, especially when muddling. Yeah, almost Means anything you muddle, like it's almost good. Yeah. Almost anything you muddle, you're going to want to double strain just because of that. So you need to top this off with some champagne. Some sparkling wine. Some sparkling wine! My bad. I can learn. Okay. Oh, we're going to, we're going to, oh, we don't want to use this one. And this one hit me in the face. You might need to make another one of those. Yeah, I'm going to Because I think we'll we want to garnish this. this. We want to garnish? So now what he's doing is he's spraying those oils, all blanketing them onto your drink. This takes to the champagne to a new level because the sweetness of the raspberry comes in. Whoa. Do you want to try Whoa. Oh, no. oh, you hadn't tried it yet? No, there's like, I think the old Tom is really good in this. They're... Because it's, it's got more ginny, gin-tastic without a lot of juniper. <coughs> and this is right in the middle. Yeah. This works for, okay, first off, it's got a little bit of a Yankee Candle flavor to well, it. Why don't we garnish it with one of those what, bad what things? Yankee That's not a garnish. <laughs> A Christmas candy can. Well, no, I don't really know. It's, it has, a, like, I don't know, like, the red one. The <laughs> red one. Apple wreath? Go with that. Yeah. It's a raspberry mixed with Yankee candle mm. with a little bit of acidity from the from the, um, from the champagne, champagne, maybe. But the champagne has disappeared in this It champagne. does, yeah. That's it. I'm done. Have a good New Year's. We're teaching you how to drink. Hope you guys enjoyed those four cocktails through those three episodes. If you've been watching some of the shows that we've done with some flashbacks to some older episodes and you're like, man, that was cool. I wish Doug would come back and visit. Well, guess what? The first month of 2017, he'll be in almost every episode. So stay tuned for that. We're teaching you how to drink.